In the meantime, lawmakers at the state capitol have just over 72 hours to take up hundreds of other bills ahead of a key Thursday deadline to send them to the governor's desk. That includes one bill supporters say will improve gun violence prevention efforts across the state. Our capitol correspondent Aton Wallace gives us a look at that proposal and his reaction from supporters and opponents. All those voters desire to vote. On this final week of the 2023 legislative session, Gun violence protection is front and center at the state capitol. Guns are the leading cause of death of young people uh, in the United States of America, and we have to do something about it. We have a moral obligation to do something about it. Assemblymember Jesse Gabriel says he is doing something about it with AB 28. It passed the legislature and is now on Governor Newsom's desk. Should he sign it, it would impose an 11% excise tax on gun and ammunition sales across the state. An estimated $160 million in revenue raised per year would go toward gun violence prevention programs. And stopping gun violence, saving lives, and protecting communities across California. The fund raised specifically will go toward the California Violence and Intervention Prevention Program, also known as CalVIP, in addition to school safety and behavioral health programs and to law enforcement as agencies work to get guns out of the hands of Californians prohibited from owning them. Still, some argue the proposal will only hurt law-abiding gun owners. Those of us that are legal gun owners in California feel like we are uh, under attack. We believe that lawful citizens have an inherent undeniable right to protect themselves. Here in California, we already have more gun control laws than any other state in the union. Gun control laws do not work. But bill supporters with Moms Demand Action say the bill will make a difference. This will absolutely save lives. We have, This is evidence-based. This is not a hope. This is not a dream. This is something that we know will work. The governor has until mid-October to decide whether to sign the bill or veto it. At the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.